Prior to installing Armstrong vertical inline pumps, please review all of the Armstrong installation and operating documentation and gather necessary safety equipment and tools for rigging and installation as well as any additional or specialty tools and equipment necessary for your particular installation. Disassemble the crate and place lifting straps around the mounting bracket behind the integrated controls. Please note that you must place slings and hooks carefully so that stress will not be imposed on the integrated controls, pump, or motor. Never place cable slings around the pump shaft or integrated controls. The eye bolt on the motor is intended for lifting the motor only. It will not support the whole unit. Carefully lift the pumping unit to stand the pump vertically upright just enough to remove the pallet and set the pump down in its vertical position. Remove the coupling guard and rain cap and place lifting straps through the pump motor pedestal on each side of the shaft to lift the pump. If the rain cap is not removed, you will need to use a spacer bar to prevent damage to the cap. If preferred, the pump can also be lifted using the straps around the mounting bracket and an additional strap that is connected to the motor eye bolt. When setting the pump into its operating environment, ensure that airflow to the motor is not obstructed. Large pumps should be installed near floor level for ease of maintenance. Prior to piping, please review the general piping recommendations in the Armstrong installation and operating documentation. Always set the pump and then complete the piping to the pump, making sure the piping exerts no strain on the flanges as this could cause premature failure. When a pump is installed freely, do not use flex connectors. Pipe hangers need to be sized for the additional weight of the pump. Pipe flanges must be square to pipework and parallel to pump flanges. Use as few bends as possible and preferably long radius elbows. Piping on the suction side should incorporate a strainer and should avoid high points that might cause air pockets. Armstrong suction guides include strainers. Install isolation valves on both sides and check valves on the discharge side. Armstrong Flowtrex valves include both check and isolation valves. When installation is complete, please refer to the Armstrong IVS commissioning and startup check sheet and design envelope commissioning video for startup instructions.